Hey everybody, so today we're going to be building an egg storage system. Um, it's going to have a bunch of wire racks and we're going to use it instead of when we collect eggs. They typically will sit around in baskets around the kitchen and mudroom area of our house. Uh, we're going to use a couple pieces of fence slat that we had left over from the cow shed, if you watched that video. Uh, if not, watch it if you like cows or sheds or building stuff. Um, so we're going to use, just, just scrap what we have around here. Uh, I did buy some baskets and a sign uh, and some other stuff from Amazon. Uh, so let's get into it. Uh, I just made a straight line across the top of them, cut the little dog ears off. They're They're pretty rough. Um, and kind of splintery, so we're just going to hit it with an 80 grit real quick just to knock everything down. So here we have our fence slats uh, sanded up. I didn't like, they're not completely smooth. Uh, they're just not splintery anymore. Uh, and then what I made to, what I intend to use to hang this up is these uh, cleats so um, one will go on the back of the these slats one will get mounted to the wall and they'll whoop, whoop, lock in like that and there's two sets of them so let's do one at the top one at the bottom like that so the sanded um, face of it is going to be the face of it Flip these around. So this is the back. And I was thinking put um, one of the cleats up high like this. We'll fasten it from the back so we don't see any screws or anything from the front. I don't have any pins at all, so I'll also maybe use those. Do that. I'll get. I'll get it square. And we'll zip it on there. Need a little light on this. My eyes! Hope it doesn't mess you guys up too much. I just can't see! So I'm not really measuring any of this, I'm just putting, you know, putting it together. It's rustic. Doesn't need to be anything fancy. So I cut these about a quarter inch short on either side. Aggressive. We're good. All right, so we got the cleats screwed to the back. I'm gonna paint it now, but I'll show you the layout of it. Okay, so we got. I have a sign here, which I bought the sign before I had this fully figured out. It's actually too wide for two of the panels, and here are the baskets. They would work. So the idea is that we'd have like a Sunday and a Monday, Tuesday, but like one for every day of the week. Um, but since this doesn't fit and I don't want it to hang out, I think what I'll do is just pop these apart and put, you know, like a one inch or three quarter inch or something, probably one inch, just space between them. Um, it'll be easy enough. So we'll do that now. All right. So I have um, this is an 18 millimeter socket. Um, it's just about one inch, so we'll just pop that in there. That'll work. And a 
it'll just fit. Maybe we'll get it just a little bit more than that. All right, got a couple of seven eighths sockets. Yeah, that'll work. Ooh. Got about one finger's width off either end. Same thing down this end. Alright, so what we're going to do first is um, paint it, and you probably, you could, you could leave it like this, or just put like a clear on it, or stain and leave it, or stain and clear. I just have some paint, so I'm going to put paint on it. So we got some Home Depot, $9 a gallon, what I like to call oopsie paint, this one's in, uh, well, it's either this color green or this color green. Either way, it's green. So I'll get some paint on this. What paint? I guess what I should do is paint the back of it first. Slap some paint on there. The reason you'd want to paint the back, you know, nobody's going to see the back, but if you don't paint the back, it's still open to moisture in the air, so it'll like buckle and curl, and you don't want that. So, you know, if you were worried about using, like, too much paint, you could just put a trash paint on the back of whatever color you wanted to, and put your good paint or your colored paint whatever color you want on the front. Since this is already trash paint, I don't care. Is watching someone paint almost as bad as watching paint dry? So we got paint on this thing, as you can see, uh, we're going to let it dry and we'll come back and we'll finish it up. Okay, we're back, it's the next day, the paint is dry, uh, we're going to put this together, I'll show you how. So the sign's going to go right up towards the top, it has uh, holes in it, so I'm just going to put some little nails in it, um, then I'm going to evenly space these baskets, and I have these hooks. So they're metal, little metal hooks, just a screw hole in them and some little screws. Um, and that way you can kind of pop the basket on or take it off if you want to. So we'll mount them up with the screws that uh, came with them. Okay, so I got them right up against the bottom of the sign there. <clears throat> and if you look, and if you look, I kind of um, put them right like to the inside of the that um, bit of the basket. That way, we don't get a whole lot of like back and forth. But, a bit like that. So my plan is to do <coughs> seven of them, one for every day. It was a pack of six, so I bought two. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, that should work. Thanks. I just have these little nails. Now that I'm looking at them, they might be overkill. I knew my nail shirt never was around here somewhere.
That should work. Two for on this last one. Uh oh! To get the nail started, I just held them with uh, these needle nose pliers because I got fat fingers, so I can just hold them in. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna put about, about four and a quarter inches of space between each of the baskets. That seems like it's about right. So, all right. So we got them all attached there. And one last thing that we're gonna do is put these little uh, mini chalkboards on there. Something like that. So we're gonna hang those on with these. These actually came with the baskets and they're um, sticky on one side. We have a couple of hooks like this. So I'm like catch on there. And it's just it's got this big old sticker on the front of it. So we'll do something like that. I put it on the inside because it, it's not like real tight on there. And I thought um, there's less possibility of it like just getting knocked off, <laughs> knocked off the front uh, because it won't be on the front. So anyway, there we go. Uh, I'll put the rest of them on there. Okay, and here it is installed. Uh, I'll put the links below for the items that I bought, like the baskets, uh, the sign, and then these little chalkboards. Um, anyways, thanks for watching.